sometimes you just get so destroyed that you're like, why do I even still play this game? Make sure you guys smash that and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. This is my uh, my friend's Zodiac around here, and this is crazy just what happens in this game. Uh, you're going to be watching Memento up here, or the power of Memento, versus Agent Runic. Now, you're probably not familiar with hearing the words Agent Runic or, you know, Memento up here in terms of combo line. But uh, this deck is pure gas, all right? The combo lines that this agent pile can bring together are insane. Well, let's watch, shall we? So we're gonna go ahead and Runic Special. We're gonna go ahead and trigger Hoogan by discarding. We're gonna go ahead and grab the fountain. Okay, well, that's that's pretty basic stuff here, right? We're gonna go ahead and activate the Sacred Waters, all right? So let's let you activate a Sanctuary in the Sky or add a monster that mentions it from your deck to your hand. And then you can gain 500 life points for each Hyperion, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. All right, we're gonna grab Earth. Earth's gonna go ahead and trigger and grab Neptune. Neptune, you can discard this special summon an agent monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh, okay, we're getting places here. We're gonna go ahead and make the moon here on Link summon. We can send the Sanctuary in the Sky or a card that mentions it from the uh, deck to the graveyard. Okay, well, trigger. We'll go ahead and drop down Majesty Hyperion. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and Neptune discard. We're going to go ahead and bring up Earth. All right, and then, hello, Majesty Hyperion. It's going to go ahead and banish, and we're going to get our free body back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and trigger. Since we banished it, we'll get our Sanctuary in the Sky from our deck to our hand. We're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon on into Master Flare Hyperion. And this is the thing that lets us send an agent monster or a monster that mentions the Sanctuary in the Sky from the hand deck or extra deck to the graveyard. And this name becomes that monster's original name, and the effect will replace it. So we're going to go ahead and trigger. We're going to go ahead and drop down Venus, and we're off to the races. Time to summon up our balls. All right. Go ahead and special up all three. All right. So we're, we're that little field turned into something immense here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to make the Celestial Parshath. Down comes the Sanctuary in the Sky. All right, we're going to go ahead and discard that really bad runic fountain that we no longer need. All right, we're going to go ahead and make Sprint. Oh, boy. Yes, we've got more gas. All right, we're going to go ahead and banish, and we're going to go ahead and bring down the agent of creation here. It let's us pay 500 in multiples of, for every 500. Uh, we can target one of your Mystic Shine Balls that banish in your graveyard and special summon it, but place it back on the bottom of the deck. So go ahead and pay our life points. Get back our two balls. Go ahead and link summon on into an Apo for two. All right, that ring of worm over there is going to go ahead and get us a nice little token here. All right, we're going to go ahead and synchro on into the Cupid pitch now. All right, we're going to go ahead and level, or not level mod, we're going to go ahead and just make Vices Amatara. Yeah, this is going to get to add a spell trap card that mentions Vices and the Cupid pitch. We're going to go ahead and Neptune on back. We're going to go ahead and grab Mana DM Reframing. This is still an Omni Negate. Why you control Synchro Monster? I think a lot of people forget that. Very, very important. All right, we're going to go ahead, Majesty, bring up a ball. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the Baron de Fleur here. Thank you for being a tuner monster, by the way. I appreciate you. All right, pay some more. Oh, look, more 500 life points. Delicious. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the gigantic sprite now. Come on, man. How much gas did you open at this stage to keep going? Go ahead and detach. There's the sprite blue. Go ahead and grab the sprite jet. Go ahead and special the Sprite Jet. Go ahead and grab the starter. All right, go ahead and link summon on in to the IP. And then go ahead and special out the carrot. And then we're gonna go ahead and set our full field. So we have reframing the Fallen Sanctuary and the Flashing Fire with an Apo, the Sprite, the IP, the carrot, the Baron, the Hyperion with this in hand. And uh, we're attempting to resolve our Extrav. Okay, we'll go ahead and Extrav. We're gonna go ahead and Sprite Carrot negate that. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and activate the Fallen Sanctuary here, which turns into another negate after we set that good card. And our opponent is forced to uh, get the nice little pass here. But luckily, we do get another phase here because they did come in a runic spell last turn. Go ahead and grab Earth from our deck to our hand. Gain back some life points. Go ahead and slam down Earth. Grab Master Hyperion, all right. Go ahead and set, and then attempt to enter battle phase, skip due to runic. And we draw terraforming. Unfortunately, I mean, we still have to make an attempt to play around uh, this, and I don't think it's happening. Yeah, our, we're just gonna go ahead and hit that concede button. 
this deck is actually insane. Like, if... Uh, I understand that there was not really a single interruption that came down across said table here, but man, that was insane to watch. If you can have that much gas, holy crap, man. Well, let's let's go to game two because that 55 card pile is the nuts. I see that we have opened up uh, Memento Goblin, the Calarium Burst, uh, the Tatsu Shin, uh, yeah, the little horse, uh, the Bone Party, and the, there can only be one. I see our opponent opened up Gamma Seal, Bhutan, Venus, Sacred Waters, and a Ball. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to do Memento combo here. So, no face up monsters other than Memento monsters. All right. You can special summon this card from your hand. And during your main phase, you can destroy one Memento monster you control if you do send any number of Memento monsters with different names from each other from your deck to the graveyard equal to that monster's total level. We're going to go ahead and trigger. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mill the wretched Karibo and two other of our friends. All right. Since our Karibo was milled here, it's going to go ahead and pop back on out of the graveyard. Hi, welcome back, buddy. On mobile splashing, target a memento card in your graveyard except for uh, the added ghost and uh, add it to our hand. So we're gonna go ahead and trigger. We're gonna go ahead and grab back our mage here, which actually is not bad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and deploy the mage here. So during your main phase, you can destroy one memento monster. You control add a memento card from your deck to your hand. All right, go ahead and pop itself. We're gonna grab our field spell here. Down comes the field. So if your Memento Monster battles, your opponent can activate Spell and Trap cards until the end of the damage step. If a monster monster you control is destroyed by battle card effect, you can target one of them, special summon one Memento with a lower level from your hand or graveyard. And then once per turn during your end phase, you target one Memento Spell and Trap card in your graveyard and reset it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slam down the Bone Party. Let's let's us destroy our friend here. All right, and we can take a Memento Monster with a different name from our deck and either add it to our hand or special summon a defense mode. All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to bring out the Dark Blade. On normal or special, we can discard one Memento card, target a Spell Trap card, pop it. And then during the main phase, we can destroy a Memento we control and special summon a level three Memento from our deck. All right, so we're going to go ahead and trigger our field. We're going to go ahead and bring up the Goblin. During the main phase, if you control the Skull Quick Effect, discard this. We don't have that. But during your main phase, you can destroy one Memento you control. Send up to two Memento cards with different names from each other to the graveyard. All right, so go ahead and pop itself. We're going to go ahead and mill off the uh, Fracture and then the Nether Soul Dragon. Remember, this is the 5,000, 5,000. that can only be special summoned by shuffling five other Memento Monsters with different names from the Hand, Graveyard, into the deck, or Extra Deck. And if you control no other monsters, this card can attack your opponent's monsters once each. And if your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special summon a Memento from your Hand or Graveyard. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the big guy. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop itself. We go ahead and get the Dark Witch, which lets us add a Memento for a special. We're going to grab the Mage here, which, remember, this does have the discard target to face the monster opponent controls. Take control of it till the end phase, as long as we have the Skull. Go ahead and shuffle back all five of our Megazord pieces to combine up into the legendary 5,000-5,000. We'll go ahead and set the Cranium Burst, and the there can only be one. End phase triggering the field spell, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the fracture dance here, which is going to be um, if you target one on the field destroyed, if you control the dragon, destroy one or more cards on the field. One attack is declared involving your momentum, you banishes from your graveyard. I'll face the monster your opponent controls, lose a thousand attack. All right, well, all of this hard work goes for naught because our opponent believes in the heart of the cards. And drew the Harpy's Feather Duster for a turn. So we're going to go ahead and Gamma Seal over the 5,000, 5,000. That's very nice. We're going to go ahead and slam down the Feather Duster, wiping out all of our back row. And because our opponent is just the best duelist in the world, down comes the Agent of Creation Venus, and we are off to the races. Guess what? Here we go. Up comes all the balls, and we are off to the races. Go ahead and Mill Master. There's the Celestial Discard. Grab Master Hyperion. All right, go ahead, rotate on into the spider, make the access code, pop them all off. Go ahead, pop. All right, down comes master and swing on in for exact lethal. You know, I'm genuinely impressed. I love what Memento looks like it attempts to do, but our opponent just had the literal nuts. Like this entire game is just a pro good example of getting destroyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.